wild ride. Dennis Bowman. You are in luck. The park is debuting a new roller coaster. PCNC's Amy Marcinkowitz takes us for a ride. Okay, we're on the exterminator. We're about to go, and yes, I do have the best assignment in the world today. The brand new roller coaster here at Kennywood. Here's a preview of what it's like. Now we are going up a very steep hill. Nothing exciting yet, but I think they haven't gotten to the good part yet, right? <laughs> Ooh, it is dark in here. Oh, look at the exterminators trying to get us over here to the left. Watch out! <laughs> Uh-oh, now we're coming up to a bend. All of this is enclosed. It's very smoky. And they do have the lights on so we can see a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> okay, we're in the... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Cool, another dip! Woo! <laughs> oh, oh! Ooh, that one got me on my seat! to go out on that ride. <laughs> Guess what? You can do it on Sunday. That's when the park opens. April 18th, opening day. And the park will be open weekends only until May 14th. And then it's every day. Ride all day. Tickets are $17.95 on the weekdays and $21.95 on the weekends. Check our website at realpittsburgh.com for more information on this year's activities at Kid With a brand new roller coaster. Take a look at this. This is called the Exterminator. Did I sound scary? When I said that, I tried. It's the park's first indoor in the dark coaster ride. The Exterminator is kind of like a wild mouse ride where riders sit in cars shaped like big rats that scurry <laughs> along the tracks. And you can find the Exterminator in the old Kennywood part of the park. Gotta, I get, gotta try that this we'll summer. Have to try it. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. A sneak peek at Kennywood's new indoor roller coaster, the Exterminator. It's with a new ride. The roller coaster capital's newest coaster is called the Exterminator, and John Shumway takes us for a spin. Uh, here we go, into the sewer. Max Jordan's Vermin Inc. Exterminators crews are hard at work at Kennywood. There's one of my guys. They're trying to rid this subterranean black hole of huge rats. Very dangerous, very mean, very ugly. How big are they? Well, I've seen some six-footers in here. 18-year-old Carrie Mooney of Penn Hills was on hand today, volunteering to go after the rats herself. You like riding in the dark like that? You don't know where you're going. That makes it better. It's a bit hard to see in this sewer, but that's an exterminator's secret when it comes to hunting rats. Well, they're easier to see in the dark. Their eyes glow. And the eyes were kind of glowing on people who were coming out of the exterminator's furnace. Going down the hills. I didn't like going around the bends too much. It made me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie was a devoted volunteer. Together, we went in to help Max's exterminators three times. That was the best out of all three of them. They're big and mean and ugly. <laughs> but we can handle them. I figure we'll be here all summer. If I don't get sick first. <laughs> Your first chance to help out Max and the guys from Vermin Inc. go after those big rats will come on Sunday when Kennywood has its preview starting at 1 o'clock and the exterminator is open for the first time. Now they'll open for their weekend hours starting next weekend. And yeah, you can expect some lines here all summer, but the folks I rode with say standing in line is going to be well worth it.
at Kennywood, John Shumway, KDKA TV News. Looks good, but with that new ride, Kennywood is literally bursting at its seams. If you have ever been to, uh, to the top of the pitfall or to the steel phantom, then you know Kennywood has very little room to grow. The park is hemmed in by highways, hillsides, and by homes, but that has not stopped Kennywood from coming up with new multi-million dollar attractions like the steel phantom, lost Kennywood, and now the exterminator, which is the first attraction outside the park's original boundaries. They seem to put the money back into the park and keep improving it. So I really do love it. This is a wonderful value, but uh, they expect a, a top-level entertainment day. Now, in recent years, Kennywood has been buying nearby properties as they become available, but the uh, streets that uh, feed the amusement park cannot handle much more traffic than it, they do right now, so park owners hope that will change with construction of the new Mon Fate Expressway. Brand new season with a brand new ride. It's a roller coaster called the Exterminator, and it's nothing like anything you've ever seen before at Kennywood. John Shumway took it for a spin today. John, how you doing? Uh, well, surviving, Jennifer, would be the best way to describe it. Doesn't look like much on the outside, but I'll tell you what, it's quite a ride on the inside. I actually got to ride the thing a total of nine times today, and I've somewhat recovered. The wobbly knees are gone now. For 15 years, Kennywood has wanted an enclosed roller coaster, and they finally have one. Watched a lot of people go through this entrance and ride it today, and more than one emerged, shall we say, a little off color. It's like bungee jumping, but it's safer. It's like parachuting, but it's safer. Linda Swetland from Carrick was one of the first American roller coaster enthusiasts in line and took her maiden ride on the Exterminator with me. Woo! <laughs> As you ride in a car shaped like a giant rat on serious steroids, you come across the exterminators who are looking for you with their nasty green fog. Tilting and turning, you race away from them, even going through the extermination furnace, until you finally come back to where you began. So what'd you think? It's good. It's like a wild mouse. Like the old wild mouse from yeah. Westview. Emily Guzan is a coaster enthusiast who brought along her mom, dad, and brother from McCandless for the ride. That was so sweet. Um, I like the part where you went downhill really deep. And you kept spinning around as you go down the hills. That was really cool. The spinning part was a little unusual. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> kind of took you by surprise. Yeah, yeah, I think it took them by surprise when I kept screaming. In the dark, it's great. It's full of surprises. You never know what to expect. And that's the truth. Because of the way the ride is set up, it's really kind of a differing experience every time you ride it. And enthusiasts are going to be lining up time after time to ride it throughout the summer at Kennywood. Your first chance to get to ride this thing will come up on Sunday when they have a sneak preview starting at 1 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And Jennifer, the park will open for uh, the weekends before the summer, obviously, coming up next weekend. So no doubt this is going to be a very popular ride this summer, especially when it rains because it's all inside. Did you like it? Personally. Oh, it was great, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the first time we went on it, we, act, we asked them to leave the work lights up inside, you know, so that we could see where we were going and get decent pictures. And it really took away from the ride because the second time we went through and it was pitch black, let me tell you, it is an experience. If you've ever been on Space Mountain at Disney World, you got an idea what it's like. But this thing is an unusual experience and it's a lot of fun. There are some real twists and turns to it. Okay, great. Thanks, John. And there may be a lot more rides in Kennywood's future. The park is making plans now to possibly expand. Money Editor Bill Flanagan will have more on that for you coming up at 5.30. It's a Kennywood in the form of a new roller coaster called the Exterminator. And with that new ride, Kennywood is literally bursting at the seams. Yeah, the Exterminator is the first attraction beyond the park's original boundaries. And Money Editor Bill Flanagan says there may actually be more to come. But how is the park finding any room to expand? There's there's a highway, there's a river. It, it, it's an issue, Jim. <laughs> They're a little bit landlocked at Kennywood. I mean, if you've ever been up to the top of the pitfall or up on the steel phantom, you know just how horizontally challenged Kennywood has become. There's a steep hillside that drops off to the Mon River and railroad tracks to the north and to the east, a highway to the south, and a neighborhood to the west. Kennywood has had to be clever in its use of real estate to remain competitive. From the picnic pavilion under construction at one end of the park to the new exterminator ride at the other, Kennywood seems to find room for something new each summer. They seem to put the money back into the park and keep improving it. So I really 
to love it. Indeed, over the past three decades, Kennywood has poured almost 100 million private dollars into the park during a period when so many other businesses abandoned the Mon Valley. The pace has accelerated during the 90s, with multi-million dollar attractions like the Steel Phantom, Lost Kennywood, and now the Exterminator. Jim Futrell is president of the National Amusement Park Historical Association. You look at what they have to do now in terms of a new attraction, it's no longer you just uh, put up a new ride, you have to almost give a story to it, um, something nobody's ever seen before. Kennywood may have made the National Register of Historic Places, but President Harry Henninger says nostalgia alone won't sell tickets today. This is a wonderful value, but uh, they expect a, a top-level entertainment day. Just finding the space is a challenge. Kennywood is hemmed in by highways, hillsides, and homes. In recent years, the company's been buying nearby properties as they've become available. The exterminator represents the first development outside the original boundaries. As you well know, the business axiom is uh, you can't stand still. You're either moving forward or you're going out of business slowly. Growth, too, is likely to be gradual, at least in the short term. The streets that feed the amusement park can't handle much more traffic than they do right now. Of course, that could change dramatically with the construction of the Mon Fayette Expressway. The projected path would take the highway just east and north of Kennywood Park. Harry Henninger says Kennywood is committed to expand and the highway would help a lot, although, Jenning, given the speed at which highway projects seem to move around here, that would be a very long-term growth strategy. Yeah, yeah. Slower oh. than the exterminator. <laughs> much, much slower. <laughs> much, much slower. Thanks, Bill. Well, the weather may not feel like summer, but it is not that far away, and one reason is that Kennywood Park opens on Sunday. The park's closing out the Millennium with a new picnic pavilion and a major new attraction. It is an indoor roller coaster that caps three decades of investment in the Mon Valley, totaling almost $100 million. It is also Kennywood's first attraction outside its original boundaries. We are not vertically challenged because it seems that our attractions get taller or hidden around behind a building and you go up over this and through this and then uh, we're trying to utilize what, what real estate we do have to its best advantage. Now, in recent years, in anticipation of future growth, Kennywood has been buying nearby properties as they become available. Henninger says any growth is likely to be gradual until construction of the Mon Fayette Expressway is completed. The highway could open for new markets uh, for Kennywood uh, early in the second century. But this weekend, the excitement at Kennywood is not just about expansion, it is about the exterminator. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the new ride there. And our John Shumway got to check it out this afternoon. He's live at Kennywood right now. John? Yeah, we checked it out and checked it out and checked it out and had a great time. And what a ride it is. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we got the Steel Phantom. Been on that a few times. And if you've ever ridden the Steel Phantom at night and dropped over that hill down into that black hole, you have an idea of what the new ride is all about. You know, last year and the last couple of years, the Steel Phantom has been the big drawing card here at Kennywood, but move over Steel Phantom, the Exterminator has come to town. Ah, here we go, into the sewer. Max Jordan's Vermin Inc. Exterminators crews are hard at work at Kennywood. Get me more help down here. There's one of my guys. They're trying to rid this subterranean black hole of huge rats. Very dangerous, very mean, very ugly. How big are they? Well, I've seen some six-footers in here. Woo! 18-year-old Carrie Mooney of Penn Hills was on hand today, volunteering to go after the rats herself. You like riding in the dark like that? You don't know where you're going. That makes it better. It's a bit hard to see in this sewer, but that's an exterminator's secret when it comes to hunting rats. Well, they're easier to see in the dark. Their eyes glow. And the eyes were kind of glowing on people who were coming out of the exterminator's furnace. Going down the hills. I didn't like going around the bends too much. It made me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie was a devoted volunteer. Together, we went in to help Max's exterminators three times. Now we best out all three of them. They're big and mean and ugly. <laughs> but we can handle them. I figure we'll be here all summer. I don't get sick first. <laughs>
Well, Max did get sick while we were with him, but I'll tell you what, after riding the thing for nine times, after a while, you do start to get a little weak in the knees. You're probably going to have to stand in line for a while to get on this ride. Kennywood has wanted an indoor coaster for 15 years. They finally have one. In fact, the Wild Mouse down at Idlewild was originally going to be an indoor coaster here at Kennywood, but uh, it ended up down there. So, Jen, they finally have the indoor wild mouse type ride, and it is something <laughs> else all nine times that I rode it. You beat it. Oh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> All right, good. Thanks, John.